Hello and welcome to another LEGO Public of Fallout Power Armors. Previously I took a look at the TT Custom stuff and these are, in terms of molding, the exact copy of the TT Custom stuff. In terms of quality, I can feel that the plastic on the TT Custom is slightly better. Uh, the clutch on the minifigures, even though they're not official minifigures, are better. They don't fall apart as easily. But you know, I have had like an armor piece here where this leg does like to come up quite easily. But, and this one here, is a little bit looser. However, most of these, you know, the body inside, that's not the important thing. You could easily swap that out with some generic LEGO figures and that would do a lot better. This is such a copy that even this little dent there is here and some of these scratch marks there on the arm is also here. So very, very close copy. But the price of these bootlegs are like forever, for every four or five of these, you can you only get one TT Custom. Now there's a nice face print on it there, of the Fold Boy, but they want half TT Custom by having different face prints for all of their armors. Christ. Um, so yeah, that's a quick look at the uh, body comparison. So with TT Customs, I only managed to get uh, that metallic, dark metallic one, as well as this green one that I was... Before I knew that these bootlegs were coming out, I got a bunch of these because I wanted to do some custom painting myself and I still want to, so that's what I'm going to do with those green ones. But yeah, minifigure head is very square, but so are the TT Custom ones. So do yourself a favor, um, I mean, the uh, minifigure color underneath is, does follow, for the most part, what's outside. But you can easily, yeah, just get some like black minifigures, official LEGO stuff, and they will fit in together a lot better. In terms of the weapons, the TT Customs only got a dark metallic one and a lighter metallic one. So I'm just going to take the lighter metallic one and look at this boot like here. It's like TT Custom one, this handle you got to plug in yourself. And uh, once again, they're very, very close. You can see it doesn't join as well here. Like they didn't plug it in as nicely as the TT Custom one. But otherwise, uh, yeah, pretty identical. So. You just paint it slightly differently. They also have the smaller rifle gun. Now this uh, ammo pack does plug in and I did have a problem one of them where the plastic was a little bit weaker so it wouldn't plug in instead the uh, the peg has snapped so that that one uh, as quote unquote assault rifle is uh, permanently without a attachment. Otherwise the uh, yeah it's it's like 80% 90% the same. So we have a uh, TV show bare scratch mark. I feel like we could easily just get like a um, solder iron and really scratch those marks in, which will make it look a lot cooler. While assembling it, it is a little bit harder to assemble because the plastic sizes and um, clutch and the sharpness of plastic made it hard to plug everything because when you first get this, everything's in pieces. So you've got the two leg piece, the uh, belt piece there the main armor body and the front piece and the back piece need to be plugged on and those were kind of a pain, it didn't hurt my finger after a while because I've got two sets of these and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight of these armors per set so I was assembling sixteens of these in, in a go and, and it wasn't fun plugging in the hands and everything. Uh, not not good, um, not a good experience but if you're gonna army build these, yeah your fingers are gonna hurt and maybe do them over a few days or have some like thumb grips or thumb gloves on, so little things that go on your thumbs might might help. You also have the two arm pieces there, and uh, yeah, those attach over the hand joint so that they do they don't fall off. So we have a regular one that's not damaged. It's also got a little bit of paint there and paint there and paint the eyes. Now those paints are not as good, not as direct as the TT Custom one, but good enough, I think. And the head stuck in there, so uh, we have a different. I'm gonna take all of these hopeboid heads out and put them on my blue bodies and such, because it's too fun not to. It's too fun to have them hidden. We have this guy here. Uh, I forget where some of these power armors. Are. I recognize some of them, but not not all of them. So he has a uh, different painted details, which are quite nice. Some details on the back too, which is great. Got the green one here. Time to die. Oop. Yep, that's the dying face, all right. So really nice little painted details there. These are some of the fun details they don't even have painted on the uh, TT Custom stuff. Now this one I recognize, this uh, shark one. I have seen that in different suits. So 
terrifying face. Now this one's a very popular one, the hot, hot world of flaming one. And that's a fun hit to have underneath. You need too much spice. We have a pink one here, which is just also really fun. I want the pink power armor. Mm. Makes sense. Hot eyes underneath. It's great. It's really cute. Don't agree with this pink color scheme, but it's still good. And we have this one, this American flag one. <laughs> That's the fuck you um, face with the middle finger that was unofficial until it became an official product. Alright, moving on to three more extra figures that we have in the set. We have Not Lucy. Uh, this is quite bad. Now, the fold suit and everything printed on there is quite it's decent enough. It's not great. Uh, there'll be another video where I'll show you a great one, but this one is so so. It's faded, it's dark. There's molding lines on the plastic, not great, and I'm not sure what hair this is. This is not Lucy. This is another folk trailer. It's not her. So, so so. She does have side printing, but again, it's just not impressive. This one is. Hmm. And we have Max. And he looks kind of right. He's got the right suit on. Uh, I wonder if this minifigure would just go better in here, in the red power armor. And the clutch on all these figures are definitely a problem, and I can feel more of the uh, plastic quality with the minifigures because they don't have paint all over them. And when you've messed with so many Lego figures, both official and bootlegs, you can sort of feel the plastic. Like, this feels a bit of a dustier plastic. It, you can feel it's a cheaper quality. And the clutch, especially on the hands of them, these are, are also not great. So he looks... he looks fine. If this was all you got, it's a decent Brotherhood of Steel sort of bodysuit thing. And finally, you have the ghoul. He doesn't actually have a jacket. It's printed on. It's printed okay. Like, the printed design is okay, but you can see it's slightly off-center in some of the areas. Pants, not sure what's going on there. And that's not a good look. That, that looks very cheap. That, that looks like a bootleg, <laughs> ironically. The head is quite nice, though, and the actual torso center is also quite decent. They actually gave him back printing, even though he's the only one that uh, doesn't have a, like anything to hide, like an expression, but they gave him the textures there, which, okay, that's good. So it's a, it's a decent ghoul face. But the hat is also the wrong, I feel like that's the wrong color, it's way too bright. It just doesn't match, like, like he looks like a bootleg, which is not great. Like, the power armors, those are decent, but the three main character figures, they are just all of them slightly off. You also get some of these posters there. Um, in Liz, I, I love <laughs> Mr. Peeps one, the first cat in space, because you know, I have cats, I love cats, so I love that one a lot. Don't lose your head, that's actually a poster in the show, so that that's brilliant to have that. I like, I love these posters. Now, all of these are UV printed, but because they are just a flat picture on a big plate, these are great. And, you know, when you make your own custom vault or something, these putting these inside would is just be good. Nuka Cola poster, love that a lot. I hope we get a Nuka Cola uh, minifigure at some point. That'd be really great. Although I guess she wouldn't be too hard to custom make. Live and love, I married a robot. Lend a hand for Uncle Samuels today's so Enclave stuff. Add Victorian, but out of steel. Fallout, Raider Road. So, <laughs> won't ever change. So, this would be um, like a 4 4 poster. And if you get the whole set together, you also get these extra plates with a 6x4 plate underneath to attach them together, prepare for the future. So this is a very uh, iconic poster in the Fallout universe for the uh, Fault tech, enlisting people to well, buy a space in the Fault. And it's done in these six pieces, also you've reprinted, uh, I think the second copy is printed slightly better. Yeah, there's a bit of white line there, so this one's printed better. And of course it's all redone in LEGO and it looks really, really good. Like stuff like this just enhances the set so much. As a Fallout fan, this, this, this tickles me in a way, in a good way. It's amazing how fast things move right after the TV show coming out and being a success. Customs start coming out and bootleg companies were eyeing those customs and yeah, the plastic quality isn't as good, but they improved it by giving us a huge selection of different colored molded plastic 
you could easily take some of these plastics and, and just remove the print on them and then paint or print your own designs on them if you're a customizer. But even if you're not that, you still already have a nice start to a good collection of power armors. That's something that a lot of us do in, in, especially in Fallout 4 and Fallout 76 when you can build your own home bases. These posters are a nice touch and this big banner thing coming together. Uh, yeah, it's printed on six different plates, but if you put that on like a, display stand or something it looks like one of those adverts that, that are also put on billboards by combining different sheets because you know the printers can only be so big so it's still fine and the uv prints on these are, are pretty decent you can read the words on them and the coloring is it's not faded so it's probably one of those newer um, uv printers not like some we've seen in a few years ago uh, the only downside to this set is that the actual main characters the main characters are pretty bad but that's okay don't get them because I'm going to be doing another video where we have way better main characters, uh, minifigures. So that's great. We've got options. You've got the TT custom stuff that you can get if you want, like to support the original one. I got a bunch of those, a whole bag of those. You see them in my video. But you know, this if you can't afford that and you want to army build some of these, this is such a great option. Wow. Um, as a follow fan, I, I am so excited to, you know, build up like a Fallout collection like this and it's uh, I hope we get you know uh, like Enclave armors and some other different armor pieces I hope we get um, the NCR like helmets and stuff that'd be really really cool so subscribe to Justin Combo Locals take care have a nice day I'll see you guys soon bye bye now